Okay guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. This is for Learn to Adjust. My name is Angela. Um, today we're going to learn a little bit about the behaviors for the room tool and how when you're sketching your floor layout, um, you can make your room look a lot more like the room you're observing um, in your uh, scope. So we're going to start with the room tool. Shortcut is R. So we're going to go to our whiteboard, get our room tool, and we're going to use just a standard size. Let's assume this is a 12 by 12 standard room. Let's assume that's the same size of the room we're sketching in the home. And we're going to go here to our zoom to extents key and make it a little bit larger so we can see better. Okay, so here's our standard room. Let's say this is our bedroom. Okay, and with our bedroom, <clears throat> we're going to have, um, oh, sorry, I didn't tell you how I did that. So here, you see how I just clicked one time um, on the on the word? That brings up this properties box. And the properties box, you click one time. You can go there to change the wording from room one to bedroom or whatever that wording should be. Or you can double click on the word itself and it brings up the properties box. Okay, sorry about that. So while we're here, you can see the standard measurements are an eight foot ceiling, and this is a box type room. And then you have four inches uh, thickness of the wall. Okay, that's standard size. You're not going to make any changes or adjustments to that. Typically, when you're in a property, uh, unless you have um, high elevated ceilings, and then you're going to change your ceiling height. Let's say it's a 10 foot ceiling. You can change it to 10, Let's say it's a 12 foot ceiling. Okay, but we'll get into that another time. Today, we're just going to talk about the basic ceiling. Okay, so you walk into the room. Of course, you have a doorway. You see here, there's a doorway option. We're going to use the shortcut D. And we're going to place our door. Let's say we walked into our bedroom there. And I was about to use the shortcut, but <laughs> I don't want to tell you I'm doing it first. So I'm switching the door. Using the shortcuts, but you can also you can also use your um, your horizontal and vertical flips to make the switches with the door as well. I was just using the shortcuts, and you can see what the shortcuts are um, there. The keyboard shortcuts. So now we have our door into the room, and most bedrooms have a window, at least one. So we're going to assume that this is a corner unit. So we're going to have our windows along this wall and along this wall. And then on this side, we're going to have a closet in the bathroom, OK? So we're going to pop in some windows. You can see the shortcut is W. And you can either click once, and it just gives you an automatic size of your window, which you can change that length. Let's say the, room, the window is 3 feet by 4 feet. This gives you your length of the window. Now it's short, shrank to three feet, and let's say it's four feet tall. Look, lo and behold, it's already set for four feet in our properties, okay? So now all we have to do, we can use our, um, our keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste the same room, so that we, I mean the same window, so we don't have to keep changing the number three from the number five. We can highlight it one time with our left keyboard, not with our left mouse, we're going to copy with Control C, and now we're going to do Control V. And you see how it's got the window highlighted now. Boop. We click it once with our mouse. Control V. Boop. We have window. Control V. Boop. Okay. And let's take a look at what this looks like. I'm going to go to our 3D tool so we can see what this looks like. So now you see the interior of the room. Here's your door where you're walking in, and here are your windows, OK? If that's the way it looks, then that's the way it looks. You can also move that around if that's more accurate. Like, say, the spacing is more accurate. And you can see the spacing, the distance from the wall that's two feet from the wall. Let's say this is supposed to be two feet even, OK? Two feet on this side, seven on that side. And then this one is, let's say this is supposed to be two and seven. 
so we can make sure that our spacing is even. If you're a little bit of a perfectionist, and sometimes I can be, I've been told I'm a little uh, OCD sometimes. So if you want to get it moved properly, you can do it there, or you can do it in any of the other options. Um, we're going back to our plan view. So <clears throat> we're going to assume that the windows have that grid in them. I'll show you another time how to change that grid. But right now, we're walking into our bedroom. We've got our window set up. And now we're going to add in our closet and our bathroom. All right. So in another exercise, I showed you how to use the break tool in order to create a break in the wall. A standard bathroom is usually a four by 11 in width. So we're gonna put our break here. See, the, see what just happened there? You see there's 411 on the outside wall and 47 on the inside wall. Standard bathroom is gonna be 411, but it's from the inside. So you wanna make sure you have your break at the 411 mark. So you don't have to keep moving the walls along, okay? We're gonna use Control C. I'm holding down the control button, not control C, sorry, holding down the control button. And I am going to grab my handle here and I'm just going to pull while I have the control button held down. You may have to practice this because it can be a little tough to get on your very first time, so don't get frustrated. And here we have our bathroom. It's a little long. It's okay. We can make it a little more square if we want. We can make it six feet long if that's more accurate. And then we're going to label it. Okay. And now we're going to make our closet. So we can either pull from this wall or we can pull from this wall. Either way, we're going to use our control button so we can create the room. Control is for create. Um, my One of my instructors, um, Stephen, has that little uh, saying, control is to create. And it's a good one. So remember that, control is to create. So I'm holding down my control key. Now I'm going to um, activate my left mouse. I'm just going to pull down to the end of that wall. And here's my closet. And then once you pop in a few doors, this is looking more and more like a place that you'd like to live. We're going to give these some double doors. I'm just dragging this out to five feet, as you can see. There we go with our double doors, we walk into our closet. Let's just space our double doors the other direction. And there we go, voila. Um, let's give this bathroom a window so that we're not gonna suffocate in here. Let's make it a one by six. And let's change the height to two feet. And we're gonna put it up a little bit higher on the wall. And let's put it right smack in the middle of the room so it looks close as possible. 1718. Our closet won't have any windows, but that's fine. Let's take a look at it in 3D. Wow, this is a good looking little layout we got here. And it was quick, easy peasy. I want you guys to practice this and see how well you do recreating this look and um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about how to make these changes or how to get this room to look the way I did. See you next time.